Johnny for the bang, yeah, it keeps me floating Better come my wrist, keep my toes so far I am on a plane and the rocks keep glowing Now my in the pain, yeah, my rocks keep glowing Johnny for the bang, yeah, it keeps me floating Better come my wrist, keep my toes so far I am on a plane and the rocks keep glowing Now my in the pain, yeah, my rocks keep glowing Johnny in my toes, Johnny in all alone Johnny in my toes, Johnny in all Sean, nice to meet you finally. How are you? Hey, I'm Corey. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Good. I do the bonus chicken for We love us. that. That's also good for the car. You know, because with car <laughs> reviews, bonus is way easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. All right, bonus chicken breast. Medium. Actually, wait. Can we go with the hot sauce? Yeah. Um, and then a side of rice. Wait, you got your card on you? Portuguese card? Yeah, please. Yeah, three orders of that. So the same thing three times. We gotta do what the guest does for the show. I like how this hot sauce says, highly combustible, proceed with caution. Cool. I don't believe it. Cool, lunch. I don't believe it. Fifteen hundred location on Clybourne. We love you. Thank you. Nando's, baby. Thank you, guys. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Ness, aka Ness Heads, Nando's Perry Perry, Corey's first time. You love it. I love it. Always a fan. It's my second time. Try it. Yeah. So today, come with us for a nationally renowned people, international love it, Nando's. Let's go. Put me out to tie, yeah. Maybe I'll scatter the dry, yeah. My demons bust in the chopper. You winning, you brought my heart, yeah. Put me out to tie, yeah. Maybe I'll scatter the dry, yeah. I'm the one things I cannot, yeah. You winning, you brought my heart, yeah. Put me out to tie, yeah. Maybe I'll scatter the dry, yeah. All right, guys, got Ness heads in the back. Corey Wagner, Sean Ely, Nando's, Perry Perry here today. What do we get? We got the chicken breast. Chicken breast, hot. With that hot side of rice. Side of rice, acquired jump cut. All right, let's do a little close up. Ness, take us through it. What do you got? Explain it. Give us that Food Network moment. We got the boneless chicken breast, also known as the chicken nugget. Oh, yeah, that big chicken nugget. <laughs> we got some rice over here. Is that Portuguese rice? Portuguese rice. Oh, yeah. Luckily, racist. It's, not Puerto Rican rice. it's racist to say what it is. <laughs> No, 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 it's uh, good. My grandma makes good rice, but I'm gonna tell her right now this rice is better than her shit. <laughs> it's better than hers? Oh man, you better be careful. You're about to get you disowned get by any some family. Sorry, <laughs> here, dude. Yeah, it was a tough holiday. It was <laughs> it's tough. so good. Man, you gotta edit that out. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> what makes this your go to order? Like, what, how, did you like, have you kind of perused the menu and this became your favorite, or I this have. is always your go to? I just feel better after eating this. You okay. It's like when I get the bowl, that's my other go-to is the bowl. Okay. And that shit feels so heavy. Yeah, it's yeah, heavy. That's it what is. I look for. You look good. <laughs> yeah, the fatter and more disgusting I feel, yeah. the more satisfied I am while eating it. Oh I got my up God. to 170 pounds once, and let's just say I'm oh, bro. Back. <laughs> if I ever get down to 170 pounds. <laughs> It'll be a celebration. Yeah. I know you think I'm down there wallowing in my own self pity. <laughs> I'm fine. You excited? It's a good bodybuilding meal with Ness heads. I'm excited to dive in. Fit fam, 2019. 2019. Ooh, God, oh God, look at that skin on that, oh God, bro. I already took a break. Here, you're, you're fine. Cheers. Yeah, there you go. It's just a uh, four cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I got to go back to that chicken. <laughs> oh, that's a good spice. I like that right away. Like a good hit. I think I'm going to start getting hot from now on. <laughs> yeah, because medium's your normal go-to. I don't know why, because I usually like really hot shit. I think sometimes, too, like... You got the rest of the day ahead of you. It's hard sometimes to just go really hot sauces. I don't know how you're, I'm not trying to dive into your digestive system or anything, but some people aren't trying to feel that. That, that pressure and that heartburn all day. Especially when you're trying to make music. I can understand that. It was pretty good stuff. I like the rice. Right? Yeah, dude, I was excited that you got Portuguese rice as a side. I got really excited. Cause I usually get the fries, but after I had that rice, I'm like, nah, never again. Yeah. So this has been this has been a good little year for you. You just dropped a project. I did. Just you did, and boy did I download that quickly off SoundCloud. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my first project. So yeah, tell us about it. When? How long in the making? Tell everybody what it is, what the name is. Hit it with it. So the name of the project is Numb. We dropped it October twenty fifth, and this is the first project we ever put out. Ooh, yeah. 
So it took like about a year to make up. Oh yeah. And we thought we were gonna release this shit in June. <laughs> fast forward to uh, end of October. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Such is life. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I'm glad it's finally out and it's just kind of a better idea of like what my sound does. Yeah. Ooh, I'm learning um, like evolving and growing. Yeah, because for of a deal. while we were just trying to like go into different genres and just make whatever the fuck we thought was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it wasn't really coming from like experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, now you're kind of finding it and now that we found feeling it, what feels good. Yeah, exactly. If you can like see there's a different feeling Hell yeah. compared to shit we were releasing in the beginning of the year. Dude, that's such a like, I don't know, it's a dope time. Yeah. I know, it's fun time. finding that. And I got it, the first experience I had with you was mm -hmm. The music videos, like seeing those and seeing how well shot they were, and like getting a vibe of you, you just have such a distinct, like on camera personality. Like the music itself, like everybody raves all the time about how your sound, like in general, is very, very unique. And like a lot of your lyrics and stuff is, I, I read so much about you, but your music videos, the, the visual aesthetics stand out so much to me. I'm like such a fan of it. You're gonna make me cry over chicken. <laughs> <laughs> just tears in the hot, you know? We'll get the concept figured out. We'll get the storyboard laid out, and then we'll figure out like what videographer we're going to use that can actually um, pull it off. Guess, yeah, pull that off. Yeah. Um, but that's been our process lately. So the creative process is usually more or less in your hands rather than like, hey, director guy, you want to like shoot my music video and you create kind of like the, the yeah. like the idea, like you have the whole idea. And we used to do that, and it would never come out. Like yeah. What we wanted. Mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, you've already kind of created it. You don't have to like give them the reins to do that. What I hope when they take over is just like add a little bit to it. Like, yep. This would be cool if you did this. Their yeah. Own little flair. Like, yeah. Little flair. Little cinematics that like kind of punch it up a little bit. Exactly. Like I've been such in the YouTube world for so so long, and a lot of artists that I love, I found from like suggested videos or people sitting at their desk, mm -hmm. rapping or singing over somebody else or the beat, and I got to see like your whole like kind of personal channel from that. Like a lot of videos, even from last year, of you sitting there doing covers, uh -huh. and that's like what I love about YouTube and oh, what I love about music. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Now I go deep when I'm in yeah, when, I, when I'm invested. Oh right. my god. I heard these bitches want smoke. smoke. The better hope I ain't hunt. Yeah, they all throw smoke. I left it all to make money. Ain't talking shit now, they ain't taking nothing. Hoes talking sideways and not gonna hold you. Quick on the butcher, you must be in plumbing. These bitches waiting, they want you for sun. Cause I love those videos. You you get sense of, such a sense of people's personalities. Yeah. Cause they have to kind of intro it, why they're doing it, why the song is important mm -hmm. to them. And people have such personal kind of investments in specific songs and artists. And for someone to kind of take it upon themselves to like recreate that. Like talk about you that know process. Your shit. You know your shit. That's <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna say. Okay, thank you. Um, I think I started doing it more to get more comfortable in front of the camera. Okay. Mm. I used to be so awkward really of like I just stiffen up and be like, hey, uh, I'm Vanessa. You know. I like, can't even imagine you. Reps, really, man. Reps will break anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But like doing it more and more, and then that's why I started doing more blog videos and shit like that because it just got me way more comfortable in front of the camera. Yep. Yeah. And like it just makes it feel more like real. You know? Yeah, more genuine. 100%. More genuine. Yep. Exactly yeah. what I needed. Yep. It's all about the reps, dude. You just got to go and just. Anytime you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, you're growing a little bit. Exactly. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In That's some way. In some way, always. Being able to look at a lens and talk to hundreds or thousands of people, you know, like when you're first starting doing it, like you're hoping people are listening, but you don't know. Yeah. You do, but you have to act like they are, and you exactly. have to act like they That's care. The mentality you have to have is act like everyone is watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're all kind of crazy in that, you know, when like you're an entertainer, you're like, everyone cares. I love doing this. Everybody cares. <laughs> you have to tell yourself Reality that. Reality fucking hits. Yeah. Uh -huh. 100%. Especially when you're first starting off, but oh my god, yeah. then you start seeing people catching on to what you're doing and like getting more familiar with who you are and just yeah. working with you. Absolutely. I just noticed this is way off topic, <laughs> <laughs> but I just noticed that Chicago with these bike lanes, they have the world's cutest little stop signs for them. I was like, oh, those are tiny little mini stop signs. For them. <laughs> Shit it's like this stop sign had a baby and just you know put what? him right over there. They should make that bigger because they never stop. The bikers stop. don't. Right. Yeah, I don't stop for <laughs> shit on my bike, bro. You don't? You're one of those? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> You're one I of those? I hate you. Yeah. To love Chicago, give me three artists that you love in Chicago that are on your Spotify or on your SoundCloud. Okay, so the one that's really been on my playlist, and I know this is controversial because a lot of people don't really fuck with him, okay. Kanye West, Jesus okay. King. You're not, uh, you're in a yeah, car with people that I've been arguing for Jesus King, and it's I am so an good. outspoken agnostic. I have 
do don't do religion no more. But <laughs> I can look past his lyrics and just be really in. I love the sound of like gospel music. Anytime anybody's using that, I don't give a shit what you think about religion. That just sounds good. It sounds good. It just sounds it. so good. It's like I'm looking at it solely for the music and for the solely music. for music. I can right. remove everything. I really like Victor Internet. Oh, okay. Oh my God, did you Hell watch yeah. that documentary that? I started watching it. I didn't finish it. Bro, mm. these days check out their little documentary yes, they made on this guy. Days. It is so sick. It was really really good. Okay, cool. I've never listened to that guy before, but I saw that doc and I was like, definitely about to check this guy's stuff out. He was so genuine on that video, speaking of genuine earlier, he was like really good at talking to the camera and he was just totally him and all his little like weird little quirks and stuff. (laughs) It was dope, man. So he's my other one. Yeah, who's number three? I don't know if you guys consider him from Chicago, but he's been from the beginning working out of Chicago, Uh Smino. Smino, okay. He's worked out of Classic Studios, which is where we work out of sometimes. Okay. We got our entire project mixed there. So like, I love the classic people. Yeah. And he's just been around Chicago the entire time, like just making his way up. If you came out the party, say yeah! Yeah! Say yeah! Yeah! Say yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! What a good experience, like, you had somebody who knows the Nando's menu, Mm -hmm. taking you for your first Nando's experience. That's the way to do it. It's the way to do anything. Get an expert. Have them figure it all out, and then you just ride their coattails to deliciousness. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day. Podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a podcast. If you haven't checked it out, it's time. Yeah. And we got shirts. Check out this beautiful bad Look boy. Look at that right shirt. There. That's sick. Go on our merch store, unemployablespod.com. Yeah. And from there, you can also get links to obviously the podcast. If you want to check it out anywhere that you listen to podcasts, I guarantee you it's going to be there. If it's not, right. comment below and we'll put it up there because we're trying to get our shit everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, unemployables, you got to check it out. It's a little bit of me and Sean and our buddy Zach. Oh, Ryan doing kind of like more just what's going on in our lives, less about food, more about us as idiots. Mm-hmm. And uh, we give advice and say really weird, funny stuff. So, But you're here for Ness. You're here for the food. Uh, Ness, let's go ahead and rate that out of five. I like to ask the guests, out of five what today? Give me like a, an icon, a thing, anything random at all. Kanye loves Kanye. Kanye loves Nando's. Remember how funny that was? Okay, yeah, we'll figure, we'll figure that out. Is there <laughs> just signs out there? All right, out of five, Kanye loves Kanye, Kanye loves Nando's. How many kind of kind of uh, do you give the chicken brass with hot sauce? I guess is what they call it, and the Portuguese rice. Ness heads out of five. What do you give it? For a combination, I'm gonna say I would give it 4.5 Kanye heads. Mm, that's a good score. I like that. That's a very good score. No pun intended. Once again, this just keeps happening to me. Corey, <laughs> out of five. All right. Well, here's the deal. Look, this rice was absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. I love this. What is it? Portuguese rice. Portuguese rice. Yeah. I love the Portuguese rice. I got a hot take on the chicken. It's trash, <gasps> ladies and gentlemen. It's trash. Wow. This is exactly what Vince told me. This is chicken I could make in my own gosh darn home. And you know what I wouldn't do? I wouldn't be burning all these edges. You see all that burntness, bro? Every time I took a bite, oh, I was man. tasting burnt clumps of dick, more or less. When I bake chicken, I put seasoning on there. You think I don't put paprika and cumin yeah. and some pepper sure. up on my chicken before I throw it in the oven? Yeah. I guarantee you I make stuff that tastes just as good as this, if not better. And then all you're doing is add some hot sauce. Bro, we're the kings of hot sauce. We got hot sauce in my kitchen all day all night. I can't spread a little hot sauce on something and make it better than this. Promise you I can. That's a one. Anything Corey can make in his own kitchen in, in half the time. That's a one, my friends. Hot take, hot take. Taking everything in me not to beat your ass. <laughs> what if she just whoops your ass in this car? Of course, I'm all fucked up. The episode just ends yeah. with you dead. I hope your, I hope your grandma sends oh. me Christmas presents. <laughs> I bet you, I bet grandma's chickens, wow. grandma's chickens better than this. I promise you that. I didn't say anything about her chicken. Dude. I said the rice. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, your grandma. <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. Don't start Dude, a family if, issue. If you don't, bro, if you don't think I'm so nervous to say my score right now, you're out of your mind, bro. I've heard you say foolish things Holy in the past. Holy smokes. You trying to go to Corey's Perry Perry? He's trying to be put Nando's out of business. Yeah, go dude. just go to my apartment and yeah, I'll bro. bake you up some Jewel Osco chicken. You think you can make that? Bro, that you, did you taste it? I ate the whole thing. This, it, bro, you clearly don't season things. Holy I, smokes! This is exactly what Vince told me. I, you obviously don't season things because I can season things and not burn them. It's a very simple, simple thing. I like the idea that and people like watching said, this bro, are like, I don't know who Vince is. This but. isn't even like deep fried or nothing. This is just yeah, clearly baked healthy. chicken, bro. It's healthy. Yeah, and that's what I do. I bake chicken. So it doesn't take any special procedures. I understand if you got a deep fry. I don't own a deep fryer, so yeah, that's something I can't do. But to bake chicken, what I don't have an oven? I'm shook. Nando's garbage, garbage. What's it called? Nobody could ever say or or try to accuse you of not being passionate. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. I've never felt so attacked. <laughs> 
Pauly. Well, I've reached a point in my life where my Truman Show boat has hit the painting. The whole time you're talking, I'm gonna have a uh, sensor noise for just a minute and a half. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady at the front desk. She, she was, she was great. They were all she really nice. Uh, I disagree. I think that for if you're having, if you're getting a a chicken breast from a restaurant and you want it to have flavor and you want rice with it, that is such a good, healthy meal. There's no regret of eating something like that. I didn't that. say there was regret. I'm comparing I'm, this I'm to I'm comparing the average it to something where I'm like, that could be a meal that I feel. I'm I'm, oh, tra so I'm out traveling. Like I'm out like traveling and I'm healthy. like, yo, I'm so sick of eating all deep fried foods. I'm gonna get a chicken. I, you know what? Oh, I hate so that chicken breast and rice is so boring. That makes chicken rice, chicken I rice see. so exciting. I see. You know what? I eat, I eat rating, chicken and rice. You're rating all the time. it on not on flavor, on healthiness. Yeah, I'm rating it on some vegan dumb what it is. Go eat some. Nando's, for what you are, you're doing what people want correctly. If you walk in there and you want Popeye's fried chicken, yeah, that's Nando's not gonna corporate. be- Nando's corporate, hire me, bro. I will teach you guys how to make better chicken than this. I hope when they hire you, relationship uh, we want to get you to know our new hire. Here's 90 seconds to get to know our new hire, Corey. Yo, yo, Juan! Like, yeah. like they you gotta some good and chicken! Then you, and then you walk in, hi everyone, I'm here to change everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving that a 4.0, bro. Mm. I figured you would, you're a suck up, go ahead. I'm not suck up. Who am I sucking up to, Nando's? Obviously. Who am I nope. sucking up to, Nando's? Nest Nan Heads, duh. Heads doesn't, duh. Have, doesn't have stock in the company. No. I'm assuming. I'm not. <laughs> Once a suck up, always a suck what, up. Dude, whatever, man. Yeah. If I, you know, all the people. I can't wait to bake you some chicken, bro. I'm about to change your you life. You I'm think this is good? Let me be there for that. Yeah, bro. I'll bake you I'll, some I'll chicken. You I'll nice bake you up something rating. real we, tasty. We're gonna dude. label that episode. Man, Corey's rice, cooker, bro. Corey's Perry. I can't make rice that good. You can't make Portuguese. I just rice told you. I, I just said those words came out my mouth too. I can't make rice that good, but I'll make you something pretty decent, dude. Everyone at home, are you uncomfortable? Do you feel weird? This is like mom and dad ready. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a lawful like when I was seven. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, raise your hand if you had a weird child. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not get there. What should our fans, the music lovers, the people that love the guests that come onto the show, what should they be looking for? Should they go check out the new project? Do you have tour dates? Like, hit them with where they should see your stuff. Go check out the new project. It's on Spotify, Tidal, SoundCloud. Tidal, damn, like. you're a big deal. Yeah. Is it hard to get stuff on Tidal? <laughs> yeah, Jay-Z came over, him and Beyonce, they made me some at home. <laughs> what if he just dropped that, like, just casually, like, I actually gotta go Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, Jay-Z's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. No, but go find the project. It's called Numb, and then we are not gonna be releasing new music till January, so. And she's also never gonna be talking to Corey ever again. Nope. So not till I make that chicken bros and change her life. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Nas, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh guys, make sure to go check out everything she's doing. It was such an honor to meet her today and to hang out. This is just so fun. You know when you just click with somebody and you're just like, this was fun? That's her, man. This you was guys, just this was guys. just a blast. All, dude. Love, all, love. Suck up, all jokes, all jokes aside, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh all right, let's end this video with some Ness on that music video life, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace. Wish you would just play a part, yeah Now I don't follow suit I know they wish I was stop, yeah How can I give them a fuck, yeah She went and she broke my heart, yeah Put me out to the yeah Maybe I'm scared of the drug, yeah My demons bustin' the job, but You went and you broke my heart, yeah Ness killed Corey. Corey's in here. She killed him. He's dead. Just kidding. Bye.